Hey, hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Agar Prajapati and in this video, I will be solving one of the important question of Python, which was asked in the recent interview. And I got this question from the LinkedIn post, so thought to solve you, solve this question via different ways. Let's understand the problem first. So we have a input list and inside a list, we have a nested list. Okay, we have another list. So you can see and the output should be like a dictionary, which gives a iteration you know which give us the count of each element so you can see one we have one right so one is repeating here three times right two is repeating there three times two is repeating and three is repeating there two times right and so on now we will understand how we, how we can solve this problem so first of all first what i'll do i'll create a function f underscore uh, get count something like that right and here i will pass a parameter called input underscore list okay and here what i will do first i will go with the very you know very noob way okay so i will use here for i in input underscore list cool see if i run this cool if i run this and if i call this uh, you know a uh, function then we'll see what it will return here it go you can see it is returning let's say one two three four it is returning a list right it is returning a list and uh, yeah it is returning a list but i do not want a list right i want first you know i need to flatten a list correct so for that what i can do i can write like this for j in uh, for j in i now here i will work as a another list correct and here i will print of Print, right print of j cool now you can see we have the output one two three and now the list is flattened right everything is flattened now what i will do i will i will here um, you know i will here uh, count the elements right so how i could do that even though you can go with the iteration if else condition the best way is to use to go with the with dictionary option right so here i will create dictionary dict of empty dictionary and here what i'll do i'll just check it if dict not dict i uh, j in dict right if it is right if it is then what i would what i would say to uh, uh, to my dict that hey you increment you know by one if element is not present then what i'll do i'll just i just add add that element you know i mean add that element and give iteration one or the count one so that is what this right okay cool and outside the outer loop i will return this dictionary okay also you can use a counter collection but that is a predefined function so i would not recommend you to use this predefined function when you are writing these kind of codes or solving the problems you can see we have the output one three two three and so right this is the output we got it before going go into the next video i would like to introduce another uh, another course which i have launched on my website that is master in python with data structure and algorithms you can see over here we are having around 42 sessions five modules 20 hours of 21 hours of content present over here so if you are very beginner or if you are very intermediate level and if you want to learn python in deep and learn data structure algorithms i would suggest to go and check out these courses or these check out this course so that you will get a better better understanding of how you can solve the problems using python right you can see we have module 1 module 2 module 3 module 4 so i mean that is enough to crack a uh, data engineering you know data engineering uh, in interview okay in python now let's go back to the problem so this is the first way to do right very simple cool now what i'll do i'll again copy I'll again copy this and paste it over here. Here, what I will do, let's say change the name to count one. Okay, everything will be same. 
this is the input list right i'll remove everything over here what i'll do i'll i use the extend method of list okay so here i will create another list called l okay and here i can write l dot extend extend of i okay and for now let me just comment all these things because all these things are not required okay all these things are not required and i will return my l and instead of you know uh, calling count function i'll just count i mean I, I will call the another function which i created now now you can see it returns actually a flattened list okay it returns a flattened list uh, so now i mean you know uh, things are pretty straight now uh, now we can you know uh, what we can do we can do like this and we will we will write the same formula whatever we have written over here just uncomment these these stuff instead of j i will use here i right or let's undo it instead of i just change it to j so that we do not need to you know work more okay okay cool 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 now let's run this now you will see the answer is same now we i have used multiple lines what i could what you can do you can write like this extend of i of extend no i cannot use like that right extend i can, no i believe i cannot use it no worries okay cool it is done now there are two ways to do now i will try to solve the question or you know try to flatten the uh, flatten the list in a different way or the th third way right so chalo let's copy it i'll put it over here change the function name to 2 i have to import from iter tools import chain okay chain now i'll remove everything else for now i believe it's not needed right i'll just do it and then what i will do i will try to print here uh you know i'll try to print here we have chain right so chain dot from iterable i'll pass that list input input underscore list cool and let me copy this and put it over here i'll call the function 2 you can see it returns an object so to change to the you know uh, to the uh, list i'll have to type cast it i have done it now let me run now you can see we have 1 2 3 4 now the list has been now list has been uh, flattened right now i'll just do the same stuff over here and you know copy copy from here copy it instead of i i'll put it here j so that i do not need to you know change the code and initialize a dict empty dict here so one minute copy paste paste here without two here without one and then two now all these things are not required remove this remove this remove this now this is the final code if i run this you will see the output is same right so this is the way how you can solve the questions via multiple ways even though you can short this code with the help of counter and all but i do not recommend it if you are solving a problem you should know at least the you know concept behind the collections behind the counter or some predefined functions so that you will your brain will work you know when you write some codes and all okay so i hope that you have understood this video and if you like it please share with your friends and yeah maybe you may have a different solutions right so please post it 
in the disc in the comment box and also tag me over the linkedin if you are posting there right so chalo thank you bye bye we will meet in the next lecture